All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the Investment League. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time on the channel, what I'm doing with this account is using it to generate extra income to pay for my debt, become debt free and reach financial freedom a lot faster. So what I did with this is I put $2,100 in the beginning of November and I've been doing different option trading strategies to generate that extra income. And currently, if you see my account, it's at $2,686.25. So I'm looking at about $586 that I've made so far. But I've since I've been doing the pay myself method to pay it off um, on my Excel spreadsheet, I'm keeping track of how much money that I've been withdrawing. So if I just add these numbers up really, really quickly, 28 plus 10 plus 42 plus 58 plus 81. Then if I scroll down, everything that's green is what I've taken out so far. So plus 33 plus 54 plus 52 comes out to $358. So I've withdrawn $358 from my trading account and used that to pay for debt. So that's $358 that I didn't have, you know, free money basically. And if I would never have taken this money out and just kept it in my portfolio, my portfolio would be valued at $3,000. And $44 so that's amazing to be over $3,000 that's like a milestone basically and if I look at this rate of return to find out how much money or how much I made $944 in total and their average or my rate of return on my investment is 45% so the average rate of return in the stock market is 10% um, just investing in like the SPY and not doing anything else so I've been able to do 45% in just three and a half months which is very amazing. Um, if I continue this path on this pace, um, I will go over 100% by the end of the year, which means that I've doubled my account. And that's basically $2,100 that I've created using $2,100. or $2,100. So that's the power of investing. So if you have not started investing yet, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. One, to follow um, my account and my journey. And then two, to learn how you can use the stock market to invest and create extra income as well. So before I was just doing option trading strategies and I wasn't doing anything else other than um, the, with the $2,100 that I had in there. But for this new year, I'm going to be doing a new method, one that I've been preaching on my podcast. Um, if you have not listened to the podcast yet or following me on Instagram, the links are gonna be down below. But basically what I preach is continuously adding funds to your account. So. One of the keys to success is to always add money into your account so that you have more money to invest. Obviously, um, the more money you have investing, the more money you'll make. If you put $100 in initially and you don't do anything else, your 10% return means that you're only going to make $10. Versus if you have $1,000 in there, now you're looking at $100 plus dollars, um, that you've made just for having that more extra money in the account. So continuously adding funds is one of the keys to success in the stock market and in investing. So what I'm going to do is every single month, I'm gonna deposit $200 into this account. 100 is gonna go into ARK, and then 100 is going to go into Tesla every month. So I currently only have $100 into each right now for the month of January. At the end of each month is when I'll deposit the money and add it to these um, investments. So currently you can see I'm down $1.15 in ARK and $7.88 in Tesla. Um, and that's a good thing because at the end of this month, when I deposit the $200, I'll be able to get in for a cheaper price. So then when Tesla comes back up and when ARK comes back up, um, I will make money faster than just leaving it in there until it recovers itself. So one of the great things about investing is that they're up and down. And when they're down, that's the perfect time to buy because you can buy it at a discount. It's just like going to the store and you're seeing a pair of shoes that you want for $100, but you don't buy it until it goes on sale. And then you see it on sale for $75 and now you're going to buy it for cheaper. It's the same concept in the stock market where when stocks drop in price, it's basically um, a, buy, a buying opportunity because everything is on sale. So that's one strategy that I'm going to be doing, implementing, is um, that depositing money and investing in these two. These numbers right here will help us keep track of where we are as far as profits or losses. So we can keep track individually without having to do any extra work to figure that out. And then with my buying power is going to be my option trading strategies. And this is going to help me keep track of how much money I've made by doing options. 
So two different strategies. One is just investing. The other is option trading. So first order of business is to learn investing and how to invest. Then the second order of business would be learning options and how to trade options to generate income. Um, so if I look at this one play that I'm currently in, which is called a credit spread, what I'm doing is agreeing to buy 100 shares at $30 a share, and then I'm agreeing to sell 100 shares at $29 a share. So with contracts, everything is controlling 100 shares. So you have to multiply everything by 100. So if I just did this, if I didn't do a spread and I just agreed to buy the shares at 30, I would need $3,000 to do it. So because I don't have $3,000, I did it in the cred um, form. And that means that this $29 sale that I'm selling them at covers the difference or it covers basically $2,900 out of this 3000 So that means that I only need $100 to do it. So I only need the difference between the two. So I need $100 to do this trading strategy. So that's one um, that's one benefit of doing options is that you can control 100 shares of a company without having the capital to pay for that, right? So when you do credit spreads, let me show you guys my transaction down here. Um, what I did was I sold this option right here for $245, 100 shares, and then I bought this one for 214. So the difference between the two is 31. So I would get paid $31 per contract. I bought two contracts, so I needed $200 to do this and I got paid 62. So if I show you guys my rate of return potentially on this one, it would be 62, my profit divided by my investment, and that gives me a 31% rate of return on this investment. So already beating the stock market um, average just by doing this one strategy alone and I only needed $200 to do it um, and with credit spreads what I'm gonna do on Monday is close this myself because I don't like to hold spreads I don't like to hold spreads through expiration which would be um, right here March 5th so what I would do if I held it through expiration just let it expire worthless and then I collect the entire premium if you close it early because I got paid to open it you have to pay to close it so that's what this one cent right here means and then multiplying it by 100 means a dollar. So I would have to pay one dollar to close this. So I got paid 62, and then I only have to pay one to close it. Now the reason why it's cheaper is because the price of Riot, the actual stock, um, went up, right? So when it goes away from your strike prices, the value of the contracts or the spread goes down because the likelihood of these contracts getting assigned are are lower. The lower that the chances of them getting assigned is, the cheaper the contracts get because they're not as valuable, right? So what I'm going to do on Monday is close this, collect my profit, and then put that into my Excel spreadsheet. It's already in there, just waiting to actually close it right here. And then this one right here is another strategy that I did just this week. So if I look at MVIS, which is Microvision, what I did was I did one part of a credit spread, which was the selling part. So if I go down to my transactions, you can see these are the only two transactions that I did. And what I did right here on February 16th, so just four days ago, was I agreed to buy 100 shares of Microvision at $19 a share. So I needed $1,900 in order to do this. I'm going to pull up the actual order fill right here, but you can see the credit received was not, was $60. So I got paid $60 immediately. The collateral, which is $1,900, is what I needed to put aside just in case I had to buy 100 shares of Microvision. And then this expired on the 19th of this week, so yesterday and um, this month. And um, because Microvision stayed above $19 at the end of the day, I was not going to get assigned the shares. So I collected that $60 for free. Um, I decided to close it ahead of time because I wanted to get into another option. But I ran out of time because it was towards the end of the trading day. So I, I bought back this option for $5. So in reality, I made $55 from this play. And you can see right here, I put it in my tracker, my spreadsheet. So I'm keeping track of all of this as well. And um, so I made $55 from this um, play right here. The next play that I want to do, which I'm going to open up on Monday, is the same thing as this one um, for March 19th. So what I'm going to start doing is buying contracts a month out. That way I, I can keep track of how much money I make a, a month. And then do my 60-40 method monthly. And then what I plan on doing is looking a little bit lower. So if I go to selling puts... This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be looking to open up one of these two contracts, 15 or 16, but I'm looking to make about 200 to $250 in the month of February to March. 
So if I do this rate of return to see how much money I would make, um, let's say I do $200 just to be on the low end and I do it for $15 a share, my rate of return would be about 13%. So already beating the market as well. And that's 13% in one month. So 10% in a year or 13% in one month. So if I'm able to do this continuously, you know, you can do the math 13 times 12. So uh, that's what I plan on doing with microvision and just showing you guys different methods that you can use with a little bit of money, using spreads, and then a lot of money just doing regular options um, with no spreads. So those are the two plays that I'm planning on doing. And I'm going to be using my buying power to keep track of how much money that I've made. And then the last thing that I have is Bitcoin. And I just have $100 in Bitcoin just to keep track and follow along with it. And basically the method that I've been doing here is withdrawing $50 every time this reaches 250. So I've already done quite a few withdrawals, about three of them I think so far. So I just did this one two or three days ago. I withdrew $50, so that's part of my buying power right here. And we're just gonna follow the Bitcoin because you know Bitcoin has been the talk of the town lately. And I wanna be in there, but it's just speculation. So I just have $100 in there just to follow it. So we'll see what happens. But um, those are the option strategies that I'm doing. Um, so if you guys, like I said, wanna follow along and keep track and learn different methods, um, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you guys on Monday. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll answer that in the comments or in the next video. Otherwise, take it easy. Peace.